How we doing everyone? Chris here from Fishing the Empire State. Today is February 6th. It's, uh, it's becoming that time of year where we're just months away from the ice melting off the lakes and we'll be able to get out on the water. So uh, first off, uh, I haven't made a video since June. I've slacked off a lot this past season. Um, I did film a lot and stuff like that. I just, I wasn't happy with the video and I just never put anything together. So uh, this year I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the videos together whether I like them or not, just to put some content out there for people to watch. So um, today's video is for obviously an unboxing with the title <laughs> um, but I also really quick want to tell you guys my plans for this year 2018 um, last year I fished my first BFL tournament ever I really enjoyed it so over the winter I made the decision to fish all of them this year um, I'm going to be fishing them as a co-angler this year just because I want to do a year of that to see how I feel about it. My plan for next year is to fish as a boater from there on out. Um, as you know here in New York I'd be fishing in the northeast division of the BFL but my first stop is going to be March 17th in Florida on Lake Okeechobee. I'm going to be on vacation during that time. I figured why not take a day and fish Okeechobee. In all actuality, it's a smart idea. A guide costs $400. BFL as a co-angler costs $125. So it's kind of the cheapest way to, you know, getting a, getting a guide without getting a guide. And you're saving, you know, you're saving a lot of money. So first stop, March 17th, Lake Okeechobee. Then, then after that kicks off my season on the Northeast Division. Uh, first stop is the Potomac River. That's in April. Then two weeks later, we return back to the Potomac River um, for the second event. Then it's going to be a couple months, and um, the next tournament after that would be Lake Champlain in June. Then in July, we have Oneida Lake. And then in September, we have the Thousand Islands. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, there's, five, there's five tournaments in each division. My goal is to make it to regionals. So Hopefully I can get enough points, do well, make it to regionals, and see where I go from there. And then next year I plan to do the whole boulder thing. Um, that's pretty much it for my season. Aside from the little local tournaments I'll be doing and, and the fun fishing, um, those are really the, the biggest tournaments that I have planned so far. Um, yeah. So, that's my plan for 2018. Hopefully it turns out to be a good year. I don't know, I can't predict the future, but uh, let's get started with this unboxing. You know, it's, it's February, it's, the ice is gonna be melting in a couple months. I've been stocking up little by little over the winter. This is probably about, this is over $500 worth of stuff. So, most of it is from Tackle Warehouse. Some of it's from Bass Pro. Um, We'll get started with these rods first. First rod is a Lose Mach Speed Stick. Lose, they have the wind grips. This is a 610 medium heavy, uh, moderate fast taper. This is for spinner baits, chatter baits, swim jigs, stuff like that. I needed one. I have four of these Lose rods three bait casting and one spinning rod and they're awesome. I love Luz, they make good stuff. So I have a reel for that, I'll show you guys in a little bit. 
next rod this is the first rod I've ever bought from this company I just wanted to give them a try it's favorite fishing uh, this is just their absolute com uh, it's a spinning rod I absolute combo very inexpensive I got it on a Black Friday sale I think it was 90 bucks I think normally it's 120 or something like that um, I mean it looks good does it fish good? I don't know. I've never used these rods before. I'm going to give it a try this year. Probably use this for like drop shots. Stuff like that. Um, one thing I do like about the favorite fishing company. Every rod you buy, they give you a rod sock. And I think that's pretty cool. I really, really, really wish other companies did that. But unfortunately, they do not. But that's one thing that I really, really like about that company. They give you a rod sock. All right, into the tackle. Start off here. Power Pro. Got three boxes. 65 pound braid. And I got this basically for Florida when I go in March um, for the BFL. Power Pro, I think they're some of the best. Best line you can get. All right, uh, we'll start off with these couple top orders. Just a Spook, Super Spook Junior, bone color. And then I got a Booyah Popper, bone color as well. I never bought bone color before up until this year. It seems like, I don't know, they're a good color. I see a lot of people throwing them. Also, the new 110 Whopper Plopper. They they started off with they had a 90 and a 130. Then they they came out with the 110, which is like an in between. I, I think it's a perfect size, honestly. And um, they updated the version. That little groove here in the center. They changed that because I guess the older ones will catch a lot of grass in there, so they redesigned that to catch less grass. So we're going to be using that this year. Give that a try. Next up, uh, just Sankos, black and blue Gary Yamamoto. That's going to be for Okeechobee as well. And we got some Zoom Trick Worms, 20 pack watermelon red. Uh, trick Worms, I love these. I throw them on a shaky head bite the tip off screw lock shaky head and shaky heads a really really good way to get a bite when you're struggling and just uh tequila sunrise mag 2 the zoom worms never really used too much of these curly tail worms but Watching Brandon Polinick on Sam Rayborn using something very, very similar to this. He was crushing it last year, so I'm like, uh, why not, you know? Uh, Gary Yamamoto Swimtail Sankos. So these are basically a Sanko with a paddle tail on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got the paddle tail. The front's a Sanko, so you rig, it, you rig it up just like a Sanko. The only difference is you can fish it like a Sanko, or you can swim it. You can swim this over grass. It's very versatile. Very versatile, and I thought it would be a good thing to have and to throw while I'm in Lake Okeechobee. And we got just Rage Tails, black and blue. That's going to be for Okeechobee as well. And I got white because I'm not sure if the bass are going to be spawning in March in Florida. They might be done by then. But in case I see some on beds, white's a good color to use. Plus, we're going to be in the spawn April to May here in New York. So that's going to be a good color to have. And the last thing from... Oh, oh. Then we got... Uh, these are just uh, grass pigs from Berkeley Havoc. They're little swim baits, three and a half inch. I'll throw them on the back of uh, 
like chatter baits and swim jigs and stuff like that. Or you can just fish them like a regular little swim bait if you, if you like. Then, um, Jean LaRue Tattletail Worm. It's eight inches, thick in the front, then it's very, very thin at the bottom, as you can see. And it has a very tiny, small little paddle tail, if you can see it. I don't know what that does with it, but does for it, sorry. But, uh, I like them. We'll give them a try this year. A lot of times I buy stuff just to experiment. It looks good. Why not? All right, it's this tackle warehouse box here. Okay, we'll start off with this. This is that loose reel I got for that that loose bait caster. Just a loose speed spool. Um, ten bearings. I have one or two of these already. I love them. They work good. Very smooth. And for a hundred bucks, you really can't beat it. They're really, really nice reels. So that's gonna go on that bait caster. Four spinner baits. It's yeah, it's a six eight to one. It might be a little bit fast for spinner baits, but I guess I'll just have to slow the reel down just a little bit. Okay, into the good stuff. All right, we'll start with this. Start with the Teckled Sprinkler Frog. Um, never used it. I heard good things about it, so I figured I'd buy one, try it out, see what the deal is. Next, just random Booyah Buzz Bait. I just got one to add to my collection. You can never have too many of, of one thing. Then we just got the spike it. These are just markers. Sorry. Markers, um, yellow. You know, you can color your baits. It's it's a lot less messier than the one that you dip. You know, um, it's just convenient, I think. And then the black as well. You're probably wondering why black. I have a lot of uh, braided line that's yellow. So when I use it for flipping and stuff like that. My buddy Tom taught me this trick. You get this marker and you color the line. Not not all of it, just, you know, a few feet from where your, where your bait is. You color the line and it just gets rid of that yellow, you know, makes it a little bit darker, better on the eye for the fish. Um, just some big bite baits. These are just five inch uh, craws. You can throw these on jig trailers, or if you want to just flip them, I'm sure you can do that. Five inch, green pumpkin. Next up we have, ah, oh, so my buddy also put me on this. This is smelly jelly. This is a fish attractant. Um, and what I like about this is Compared to your standard standard attract attractants, this is like a Vaseline based. So when you put it on your bait, it actually stays on for a little for a lot longer than your traditional water based sprays. That once you put them in the water, they kind of come off. So I like this a lot. It's a Vaseline based, and um, just if you're gonna try it, make sure you keep it. Try to keep it out of the sun because it will start to liquefy a little bit and then once it cools down it'll solidify back up next up i just got some uh trocar hooks these are just the finesse worm hooks i'll use those for like power shotting in the grass um then just swim bait heads quarter ounce swim bait heads trocar black and white uh vmc nico hooks Nico, Nico rig was a technique I picked up last year, so I'm going to be throwing that a lot from now on. Uh, VMC Wacky Rig, Wacky Rig hooks. These are 1 8 ounce. These are my favorite. I used them all last year, and they worked super, super well. 
uh, they're weedless as well. You can get them non-weedless. Next up, Owner Ultra Head Shaky Head. My buddy Tom showed me these as well. These are my favorite shaky heads made by Owner. They have the screw lock. They work real well. I think it's only, I probably lost only a handful of fish on this. And that was probably due to my error. Next up, uh, I got these for Florida mainly, but these are just um, Boss Outdoors punch skirts, black and blue. Bring those to Florida with me. Next up, we got swim jigs, M Pack swim jigs. Got these for Florida as well, Lake Okeechobee. This one I opened up already. Show you guys that one. So this is the swim jig. I got him in half ounce. Yes, half ounce swim jig. And these are different. They kind of have like a plastic uh, weed guard, which is different from most swim jigs. Then they have the bait keeper right here. But I'll just throw like a swim bait on that, Kai Tech or something. Um, and I'll be bringing that to Okeechobee as well. And jigs. And I got all my punching tungsten and weights. We got a Swagger Tackle. Swagger Tackle Flipping Weights. These are one and a quarter ounce. Tungsten is just so expensive. I got 3 8 ounce, uh, half ounce, three quarter ounce, and one ounce. So those are also for Florida. Next up, we have something I'm excited about. It's the um, Rio Rico popper. This popper cost $23. It was expensive, but they look really, really good. My buddy was telling me about them. And um, he told me he caught more bass on this in a day than he probably has in a month. And supposedly they make a different sound in the water and they just get the fish to bite. So um, if you guys don't mind spending $23, I suggest trying one out plus the color you guys can see that color that's that's nice um and then just standard tackle warehouse t-shirt that you can get at your free orders no big deal Got one more box here. Again, Tackle Warehouse hat and another shirt. You can never have too many shirts to fish in. This box we have. All right, this is that spinning reel for that for the um, favorite the favorite rod. It's a 3,500 size reel. Not a bad looking reel. You know they have. These like cork grips, which feel pretty nice. It actually feels pretty smooth. Um, and the black and red look nice, so we'll give that a try. We'll do these real quick. Um, these are the bake, this is the Baker calling kit. And I have calling tags on my boat already, but I got these for, I figured they're so small. You guys can see that, they're so small. Um, they'd be a lot they're, they're gonna be a lot better to travel with instead of carrying those you know bigger call tags these are convenient these these will fit right just in the pocket of my bag and you know easy to get to I won't have to worry about big giant call tags so that's what I got that for just fishing as a co angler you want call tags and those were those were easy next never seen these before I gave them a try um, Nicholas Lures MBP swim bait. 
So I got two. I'll show you one that comes in this case. I think these are like four and a half or five inches. Just a swim bait. You know, um, they got the flat tip, you can see. So your swim bait jig will sit flush right against that. They plus they feel pretty they actually feel pretty strong. So I'll be throwing that this year. I think I'm gonna be throwing that this over finding humps and swimming it over the humps, trying to get a reaction bite. Next up, just a bunch of Kitex. I love these baits. Uh, four inches. Uh, just electric shad, Kitex. Silver Flash. Easy Shiner. You guys get the deal. They're just swim baits. Uh, tube I threw a lot last year, so I needed more hooks. These are the Trocar tube jigs. Got two packs of those. More Trocar swim bait jig heads. They're just the boxer jig heads. Flipping jigs. Uh, I got half ounce, three quarter ounce flipping jigs. Um, these are the Ike's flip out jig made by Missile. This is a half ounce one. Never used them before. They were actually on sale, so I figured I'd give them a try. Um, what I do like about them, I'll show you guys. They really do have a thick, beefy hook. So when you're setting that hook, I mean, it's gonna take a lot to get that hook to bend or break. So that's one thing I liked about them. Nicely painted, natural color, you know, green, green pumpkin. There's like a tiny bit of brown in there. Uh, here's just another one. It's like green pumpkin with black and blue on it. Another green pumpkin, black and blue. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is straight black and blue. This is green pumpkin, black and blue. This is like a green with a brown in it. It's called Brew, Brew Gill. So I guess that's a blue gill imitation. Another black and, black and blue and another green pumpkin. And as always, your Tackle Warehouse sticker. I have a whole bunch of these. I just never put them on anything. Um, and that is the conclusion of this unboxing. Um, so yeah, that all that stuff was over five hundred dollars. Now it's comes to the time where I got to open up all these packages and get this tackle put away, which is not going to be fun. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Um, like I told you, I'll be making a lot more videos this year. I'm going to try my very best. It can be difficult sometimes. So I give a lot of credit to those guys who do this on a daily basis. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys back soon. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm just getting it off, off the ground. And hopefully I can build, you know, a viewer base and put out some some pretty good content um thanks for watching guys take care